Coach, you have been around. You have had 24 months. Give me your honest assessment of your team from once you started. I think it's a, it's a big difference with the team. We started in uh, September uh, 21. Um, we were building a team at that moment, so there were many, many changes every time. We looked for better players. Uh, we didn't find them, the players immediately. Um, so we had some big defeats or defeats who, who were criticised. But we went on working and we knew what the plan was. And uh, I think uh, last year in September, suddenly we found what we we needed. And uh, we tried uh, already the months later to uh, to increase the level. And I think we can say today that we have a good um, Bafana Bafana team. We still has to improve, certainly, because the big uh, games are coming now with qualifiers in November and Afghan in January. But I'm very happy for the moment with the level we have. And uh, let's hope we can improve that in the next months. You said you found what you needed. What is it that you needed? What is it that you got those ones from this team? I needed players with uh, quality. I needed players with a good mentality. Um, I needed a group because you can have uh, 23 players, but they don't, they don't uh, make a group of it. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, to build we work. A chemistry. I'm sorry. To build the chemistry. Yeah. The chemistry. Yes. And um, I think we succeeded when I see uh, the guys treating each other during a camp. Um, there are colleagues, but there are also friends, and this is very important. Um, I see also the guys who are on the bench. They are not guys with a face like this. No, uh, they, they, they want to be, in fact, they don't want to be on the bank, but they are happy that they are there. And I know if I, uh, if I need them that they are there. So the, the mentality in the group is very good. And also, yeah, the players are better than uh, two years ago. Sure. You also spoke about defeats. I think the major defeat was that against France, the 5-0. Yeah. And you said it made you to think about some things and change what you started. What did you learn from that? No, well, it didn't make me change. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it was only, only for me, was it something I learned a lot of it. Mm. What, what we learn? needed, mm -hmm. um, where we have to improve uh, a lot. And um, for, for some media, that was not the case. They just criticize it. What did we need? What did we have to learn a lot? Tell me. Yeah, we have to learn uh, another mentality. We have to learn uh, to have the winning uh, mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to, to, to improve our quality. Um, yes. Um, but at the other side, it was not honest what they did in that time with us. Mm -hmm. Because we played in Ghana. Mm. And we lost 1-0 with mm. a goal who wasn't the goal. Mm. We played against the world champion mm. and against the team who was second again, yeah. last world champion. Yes. And we played against Morocco, mm -hmm. who was third on the world champion. Those were three tests, so, tough tests. So don't criticize a team then who's, uh, who is in, uh, who, who's built it. And, 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 and that was not honest. But, but all everybody, everybody learned a lot. Certainly the players, they knew, uh, oh, we need to improve a lot because uh, this is top mm. and we are far, far away from top for the moment. And now, when you look at the upcoming qualifiers for the World Cup, it is a tough qualifying way or route to get to uh, America, Mexico, Canada. You have to be top of a group that has got six teams and then after that you have to play a two-match playoff before yeah. you can secure your position. Yeah. You're looking at that and you're thinking that you yeah, said 75% of your team I think is ready for AFCON. And when you look at that World Cup qualifiers? The goal, the goal has to be uh, to be first in our group, then we are qualified for World Cup. Mm. Um, for the last World Cup, uh, everybody said also, oh, oh, Ghana is in the group, are you going to beat Ghana? We beat them here in, in Joburg. Yes. So we were very close already there yes. <coughs> at that moment. Uh, but now, okay, uh, we know what to do. It's, uh, it's a tricky group. We have two neighbor countries, so uh, they will do everything to beat South Africa. Yes, yes. We know, we know. And you have uh, Nigeria. Mm. So um, it's a tricky group, but uh, again, uh, this is not South Africa anymore from two years ago. Sure. 
So um, I'm confident um, it will be tough, but the most important thing now will be that we give, win our first two games in November. We are about to round off. Yeah. This, is, this is very important because yes. if you, from the first games, you have to, to, to try to, to, to um, yeah, how you call it in English, it, when for the first game you have already Good points start. behind, yes. yes, then that means that next games you have to win. Mm -hmm. And it makes uh, many pressure on, on the group, so we, we try to avoid that by winning two times. Take control and have your faith and yes, your destiny. Yes, that's the best uh, thing to do. Right. And then there, there, there was a time when I heard you speak about looking at players abroad. And I understand there are some young players that you may have seen that you may want to bring to South Africa before they play for some countries where they are based. What's the progress on that? I think there are not so much young players in uh, abroad. Mm. Um, certainly not. Uh, the only thing I hope is that those who are there um, are not the young players, but then I'm speaking about uh, Motiba, I'm speaking about my Lula, I'm speaking about those players, that they still improve. Yeah. Uh, certainly for a guy like my Lula, who was um, just being the team last season and he made it very good with Sundowns, immediately a transfer mm. to, to America. So he has still to improve uh, and I hope that they do it because it will be good for Bafana Bafana. I was talking more about players who may not have played for Bafana yet, who may have been born here, left early or born elsewhere, but they would like to play for South Africa. Yeah, okay. Everybody likes to play for South Africa, but... Uh, um, again, uh, you need, first of all, you need to have the level mm -hmm. to play. And um, we, are, yeah, we are severe as coaches. When we, when we look at a player, uh, we are not um, um, quickly happy. So, um, and I think we have to, because uh, that means that those one who will be here with us receive, uh, uh, deserve, sorry, deserve to have the opportunity. Yeah. But then, then... The next step is prove it. Perform. And uh, we will see. Of those who are now new in the squad, in the selection, they will have the opportunity to prove it. And we will see. Now, as I run off, every team is mirrored around the image of their coach. If you look at Man City, you see it's Pep Guardiola. You can see it when it's at Barcelona. You see it at Bayern Munich. At Liverpool, Jan Jan Pressing, Jürgen Klopp. What is the image of Bafana Bafana? in Hugo Bruce's eyes? Um, uh, it's not up to me to tell that. I think uh, <laughs> there are other uh, people uh, who can uh, evaluate that. Um, but um, I, uh, I always tried, and I said it from the first day I was here, to make from Bafana Bafana a victory team, mm -hmm. a team who win games. If you see our last uh, seven games, we won five times. And only play two draws, and we didn't. We were not defeated. I guess what I'm asking is, what are the characteristics that make a Hugo Bruce winning team? First of all, I like uh, to dominate it, the game. Uh, secondly, the mentality is very important. Um, I need, uh, of I like uh, depth in our game, and that was not there in uh, in the beginning when I was here. Uh, I like good wingers. I think we have good wingers too and a strong defence, and um, I think uh, um, it's not so easy to uh, to make goals against Bafana Bafana for yeah. the moment. So, uh, yes, I think uh, we did it well, but again, again, uh, there is still a lot of work to do. we just a few months, finally, before AFCON kicks off. I said earlier on that you've done this before. You took Cameroon, you took them there, you went back to Cameroon, and you were the hero. There was a lot of criticism along the way for you to get there. But this is South Africa now. You know the history, you know what it found. What is it that South Africans should expect from Bafana Bafana under Hugo Bruce coming back from Ivory Coast or the performance in Ivory Coast? I think we, first of all, because um, going there and, uh, and telling already, yes, we want to be in the semi-final, it is stupid. I think the first goal has to be to pass the group stages. Mm. And then you see. Mm. Because you need also a little bit luck. You need also a little bit luck. Uh, when I see what we did with uh, Cameroon, yeah. uh, we played uh, in the, in the quarterfinals against Senegal. Yeah. 
we were a little bit lucky in yeah. that game. Yeah. <laughs> and you need that. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the group stages and passing the group stages first and then see what we can do more. Hugo, always a pleasure. Best of luck going forward. Okay, thank Cheers, you. Cheers, man. Thank you very Good. much.